Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up Mo's testimony, and I was so close to naming one of the previous two episodes, like, Testimony, because it's Mo's testimony, you know? Uh, but I figured I could probably come up with a better title name than that. Anyways, in this episode, we're heading back to the investigation section, and hopefully we're going to be wrapping things up here. So let's start with December 29th, 3.03 p.m., Wright & Co. Law Offices. Um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. I'm just not good at it. And that's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearls did a magic trick? Huh. What kind of trick was it? Let's see. It looks like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? How did you do that? Nick, you're, you're like a real magician. See, this is just why I can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You t you'll take all of the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Uh, same old Maya. Attorney's badge. Well, your badge is still shining. Barely. It may be showing a bit of wear, but I try to take good care of this thing. You sure do love to show that off, don't you, Nick? Who knows how many times you've shown it to me. She's right. I whip it out at the drop of a hat. Don't take that out of context. Why don't you start channeling spirits? They say you lose sight of who you actually are. Hmm. Do you really believe that? Not really, but... Just in case, I plan to write my autobiography. Your autobiography. That's a good joke. What to do? I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says that he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? If that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max, and that would have been enough. There's no reason why anyone would believe he flew. But, what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that. Max. You're really not helping my confidence here, Maya. Also, it was just explained to you like a couple hours ago that he uses wires and stuff to hoist him through the air. Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben. Trillo. Mo, they all have nothing nice to say. That magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like, customers only go to the circus to see him. He even hit Ben over the head with a bottle. But... But what? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. And it was proven that neither Ben nor Mo lied on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume, but Mo clearly said that he saw Max himself. Gosh. Well, we've got a tough case ahead of us. Uh, also, something that I've been wanting to bring up, this is completely unrelated to anything, but I've been realizing I've been stumbling over my words a lot when it comes to this game, and that's mostly because, for some reason this, in this game, I think they get better with this in future games, but in this game they just hate using contractions. Like, instead of using it's, like IT apostrophe S, they'll say it is, and so, like, my brain is so hardwired to using contractions that I just kind of stumble over that. Zah! Oh, my sweeties! You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. They said that since I'm a famed magician, let's make your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? 
Huzzah! Maximilian Galactica! The great prison escape! It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be aw an awesome special. But if I do... But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. Huzzah! I have, I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That show business. What about this? Fabulous! You'd like me to sign this for you? Ugh. And... Do you mind taking a look at this? I guess I have no choice, but really, is this the proper time or place for this? Signed his own photo. Okay, yeah, that's all the same. Nag, you mind giving that to me when the case is over? Alright, what's going on? Um, the night of the crime. You didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. That's a weirdly constructed sentence. Like, it makes sense, but... Uh, weird. I don't care what the Stooge Clam says, it wasn't me. Max! Max! Do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Hmm... You'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and the cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much, it's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous! A great joke! Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like that? But... Huzzah! I've won on the world of... I've won on the world stage! I won the International Grand Prix! International Grand Prix. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? <clears throat> Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Oh my! My sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I am really sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Huzzah! Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happened to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at the fabulous stage! That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. <clears throat> By the way, uh, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Zah! Watch and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? <laughs> Phoenix is probably one of my favorite protagonists in, like, any video game, just because of how many witty lines he has. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. Quit your whining. Let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. 
Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this just, just, just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you going to do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training. Whoa. Yes, Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So, we're trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a, in a round? You can really do that? That's incredible. See? See? Even they are surprised by the idea. I told you. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we've got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. <laughs> you th th think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. Please don't. Would you mind taking a look at this? <laughs> that... <laughs> it's... I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. What's going on, you two? Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted. Right, Ben? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's right. But then we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, I would have thought it, it was the Ringmaster. Hmm, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I wasn't. I'm completely serious about it. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Ha! You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. Um, yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red she looks like a vine-ripe tomato. So how is the new routine working out? Will you two just take a chill pill already? Our, routu our routines are secret. We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It's, it'll be a real revolution. That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. Performer should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trilo, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world's stage. You're right. You're right. Mark my words. I, Trilo Quist, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. Row, row, row your boat will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but when to more mature song be best? Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up, you gotta be a part of this too. So back at the crime scene. <clears throat> oh, it's uh, you do. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? Nah, I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come me down here and do this for her. Being bossed around by a woman. I know how you feel. Gosh, you could tell this was written in like 2002. 
well, the translation was written in 2007, but you can tell this is dated, is what I'm saying. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you're fake laughing that much? I mean, Siska really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal! You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip! No way! Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof! There she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's wound him pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? She can fly, pal. Didn't we tell you? According to the clown, the criminal jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happens, it means the kill a breast right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room, behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? Ugh. Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Unlike last time, we actually have to wait to go into the lodging house now, so let's head back. I think if we go into the big top and then- oh! Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of chicken, aren't you? No, 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 I'm just, um, allergic to wild tigers. Oh god, why you? Oh, right! Welcome to the wonderful and fabulous, the cafeteria. Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. Alright, you know what time it is. Riddle time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um... Come on, you can answer this, it's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? Brr! Wrong! Try again! Okay, what do you think, girly? Um... Ah, I got it! Okay, what's your answer? Because they're in the cafeteria. Exactly! It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. <laughs> ah, goddammit, I got the hiccups again. I did it! What's going on? He's being too nice. Also, I forgot to mention because I was doing the character, but... What the hell is that joke? It's not even... Like... What? <laughs> God damn it, hiccups! Okay... Today's trial. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me? I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd last night, I had to smash watermelons. Hmm. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the famed no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly! How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear! That creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying, per se, it was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psyche lock. He must be telling the truth. Okay, we were told to shove this photo in everyone's face, so here you go. Oh, not this picture! He showed it to you guys, too? Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica? He really gets around. 
Wow. <laughs> oh yeah! He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bus too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship it every day. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> He'd make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. They absolutely knew what they were doing. Max's bust should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh yeah! Hmm, when was it? I'd say it's about five days ago all of a sudden. The bus disappeared. It disappeared. You see, if you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Aww. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing's changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually t thinking about this, or if he's just setting up a bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. Quiet Mo is a good Mo in my book. Amen. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Hey, there is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us, tell us! Well, on the morning of the crime, all over that bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes! It says, To the Murderer. M murderer Yup, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um... When did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after the paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Nick, I think this is a very important clue. And I guess we'll have to chase down what this clue means in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye!